And a very good afternoon to you all. I hope you are well on this Monday. What are we already now? We are the 12th of April. Can you believe it? Did you have a lovely weekend? I did. I had a quiet weekend. Thank you very much for all your lovely comments. I am feeling absolutely fine, fit as a fiddle. Uh, just, it was obviously just a bit of a sickness bug or whatever going around, but it was so nice of uh, Debbie and Joe to step in for me. So thank you very much. Don't start. So, uh, as you can see, I am absolutely right as rain, so thank you so much. I am buzzing as well, you know what today is. It is Monday and it is officially WrestleMania Monday. Absolutely. It's the aftermath, as we always know. Credible event, but like we done last week, we'll talk about that later on on social media. We'll keep it away for uh, Crafters TV, but boy, it was a phenomenal event. And just to say as well, anyone that is uh, living in that Tampa Bay area, as I know some of you are that watch, I hope you are all safe and well. You had quite, uh, not that nice have weather, certainly over the weekend, so as long as you're all safe and well, that is the main thing. But with it being Monday, it does mean that we've got a jam-packed day and a jam-packed week lined up on Crafters TV. The main man himself, it feels like forever. He's back in the building. Not only is he back in the building, he's at my side trying to put me off like he usually do. We'll talk about him just shortly. He's no, don't, don't bother waving because we're not coming to you yet. Oh. <sighs> That's okay, Charlotte. And we've got Charlotte and Johnny in the gallery as well. So the A-team are back together again and Jake on the outside as well. But what have we got coming up on Crafters TV today? Well, you are watching Wake Up Call with Craig. So we are now an hour and a half, whereas we are sprinkling craft fault deals throughout this show as well. And then what we've got later on is launch day. So Sarah is launching our brand new signature collection. Absolutely gorgeous. Think of vintage, but bringing in your mint your teals, your duck egg blues, it is absolutely gorgeous. Being uh, the full collection, Letters from the Heart. And then, you know, I always like to say this as well, if you like my work, brilliant, good day for you. If you don't like my work, I'm sorry, but you've got me back later on for Monday Makers with Ben as well, where we're going to be showcasing not only some of the products, the main product coming up on launch day, but some of the items coming up on Monday Makers as well. Now, you know, he's trying to sort his hair, but let's get to him, because he's got, oh, he's got oodles. It's, it's, I've got that bit as it's well. It's a funny little, what do they call it? Is it a cow's lick? No, the cow's lick at the front. Oh. Do you know what my problem is at the moment as well, right? See, at night time, my bit right here, it's because I'll sit and I, my hair's that long now, I twiddle my, my hair. Well, like that's that. why yours sticks out, because so that's why mine. That's why, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to get it cut. Anyway, right, Ben. Good to have you back. Did you have a nice little break? I did. It was a, I had a lovely time off, actually. I managed to get some nice weather on the days that I was off, too. So um, it's good to be back. It feels like I haven't been here for absolutely ages, but it's only been, I think, seven days. Um, but it is nice to be back. Uh, great to have a bit of time off. Lovely to be reunited with my crafty partner in crime and we are ready to go loads of you watching already it's gonna be a great show to tell you what the craft vault deals that we've got coming up are gonna be amazing basically we've got deals under 20 pounds or under 30 dollars and we're going to sprinkle those in right throughout the show one that we want to kind of point towards right now which is flying out the door which we don't have a lot of stock left is this uh, which is the maker statement numbers and um, symbol collection you're going to get a tape pen with that as well 33 elements in total Total. basically you're getting the um, the symbol collection and that tape pen for free but as you can see everything under 20 pounds or 30 dollars 19.99 or 24.95 uh, we're down to double figures on that as far as stock is concerned and more of you are buying right at this moment as I talk so if you've got your eye on that then make sure you get it in your cart and get it checked out uh, before it disappears as always as Craig mentioned we would love to hear from you on the socials over the course of the next hour and a half Facebook and YouTube is where you need to be commenting anything you want to ask anything you want to tell us let us know how your weekend's been uh, we would love to hear from you uh, and we will read out those comments between us as we head through the show right i'm heading over to that side of the studio to the wall uh, for the craft vault deals and uh, talking of great deals craig is over that side of the studio with some more for you 
I absolutely am. And this is where we are going to be launching the Sarah Signature Collection. So this is Letter From The Heart. Now, you've got the full on show later on today, 3 p.m. here in the UK. For you guys stateside, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. However, this, within Wake Up Call, is your first chance to see it. We're even going to be demoing it as well when it comes to Crafters TV. Have a look at this collection. Now, what I love instantly about this one is it's a big collection, but it's not a humongous massive collection so it's not one that's maybe going to uh, kind of you know panic you sometimes is to think oh gosh what am I going to do in this collection you've got 107 elements with 48 sheets of papers you've got your core essentials your 12 by 12 pattern papers double-sided you've got embossing folders you've got a couple embossing folders you've got some envelope dies border embossing folders nice selection of key elements that you're going to be able to make your projects with straight away you can see down on the bottom there 81 pound 38 £81.38 here in the UK. Now you're already going to be getting that saving of £15.60 instantly, straight away. Now when it comes to the US of A, you're going to be $115.21 and you're getting that saving of just under 15 Now I have to be absolutely correct here and let you know you are getting the saving of $14.24. Now within all of that, as I said a moment ago, everything that you can be getting. This time, over, certainly, over this last, oh, over a year, gosh, can you believe it's over a year? And fingers crossed to everyone, certainly here in the UK and England with retail stores and all that, you know, let's just hope this is the first week forward. But we are wanting to send, yes, cards and send our loved ones just notes and that. This is letters from the heart cards, memory books, scrapbook pages, home decor. It's a nice collection that it's not bold colour wise, but you're bringing in your peaches, your pastels, your pinks, your mints, all these collections here. I'm going to be showing you that just shortly on Wake Up Call, but to see the full two hours, as I say, that will be later on today with Sarah and Ben. So that's 3 p.m. here in the UK or 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. But then what we're going to do is we're going to have a look to see what myself and Ben have got coming up later on on Monday Makers. So that, if you want to tune in and watch us both then, is going to be 7pm here in the UK, 2pm Eastern Time, 11am Pacific Time. Now, I actually pulled rank on this one because myself and Ben had these on Good Friday. First time you'll have seen the glitter markers since December last year. Then I asked to have them on a show last week, which I got my wish. And then I thought, I'm really, really pushing it to ask to have them on Monday Makers today because we've got a small smidge left and they've said OK. So Monday Makers, we've got our Spectrum Noir Glitter Marker Collection, 18 elements in total here. So you're still going to be getting them at the same deal and at the same price as uh, you have been the last week or so. So you're saving instantly already 10%. £32 here in the UK, $48 for you guys stateside. However, once you go across to crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu, you will get your uh, Club Inspire on top of that, depending what level you are. If you've not known what Club Inspire is, we'll show you all these details later on in the show. But we're going to stick around when it comes to Monday Makers and show you what we're also going to be showing you. And this is then going to be all about, this is something, if you've not already seen it and got it, you guys that haven't seen it are going to go absolutely crazy. I 100% am responsible for this utter craze of getting this back in stock. I used the statement butterfly, oh gosh, the end of last year on a Facebook Live that I done at home, which is this one here. And you guys went crazy for it and you wanted to get that statement butterfly. We couldn't get it. We couldn't get it. Then we got a smallest smidge. And I mean the smallest of smidge and it had gone. We've now got it back. Creeped down at the website over the last week or so. So many have seen it, got it and already got it arrived at home. This is now the first chance in a long time that we've seen it on a Crafters TV show. Not only are you getting that, look at the full detail on your screen already. The Nature Garden Beautiful Butterfly Collection. This is where you're getting 16 elements and 40 sheets of Centura Peril. So you've got that statement frame. You've got the butterfly. You've got your stamp set, including your pastel tone of your Centura Peril. £37.98 here in the UK. $59.90 for you guys stateside. And of course, if you are across 
across in Europe. Do not fear, just go to .eu and your prices in euros will be across there as well. So whether it's Nature Garden, Letters from the Heart, whether it's the glitter markers or whether it is the statement butterflies, what we're going to do is we're going to showcase these all within Wake Up Call this morning, including throwing in some craft faults. But uh, later on today, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time is going to be Sarah and the launch of the Signature Collection, Glitter Markers as well as Statement Butterflies, 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time for Monday Makers. As I alluded to a moment ago, it is a big day certainly here in the UK for stores and retail stores, not just crafting but across the whole retail. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a cross to the main man himself where Ben is, uh, well, yeah, he's got something to say. Yeah, it's, ex it's exciting here in the UK. It really is exciting. It's uh, one of those days where we're next along the roadmap here in the UK. So uh, retail stores opening up again. Uh, we can do things like get haircuts, get our nails done. Uh, the pub gardens are opening up. I know one me I know one member of the team who's not working today who was first in the pub, I think, in the UK uh, today on his Facebook. He's there already, bless our John. I don't blame him. But I tell you what, we're very excited about the fact that the stores are opening up again. And of course, our stores here in the UK so if you're near one of those you can get down to our stores today um, and get shopping and the great thing is a little bit later on we're going to be chatting to Helen Hollings um, from the stores to chat a little bit about what the buzz is like in the stores currently um, you know what kind of precautions you can expect if you're going to be shopping down at the stores today and actually um, find out more about the deals and also um, if you don't know where our stores are here in the UK we'll chat to Helen and find out exactly where they all are but it's a really exciting day um, and and um, as I say, light at the end of the tunnel, I think, here in the UK. Loads of you saying hello this morning. Um, Diana's in from Indiana. Good morning. Uh, George Yan says, good morning, Craig and Ben from Clearwater, Florida. Glad you're feeling better, Craig. Uh, thank you. I am 100% better. Um, good to see the two of you today. Pamela says, uh, good morning, Craig, Ben and Team Social uh, and all the crafters from central New York uh, and lots of hellos coming in as well. Um, Karen just saying, good morning, Craig and Ben. So glad to see you two on the air together again today. I've missed you both. We've missed you all too. Keep those comments coming in and we'll read them out throughout the show as well and any questions that you've got too. Now, uh, for those of you who haven't watched for a bit, Craft Vault, of course, is now part of the Wake Up Call. So we dip in and have a look at some of the Craft Vault deals that we've got over the the course of the hour and a half and basically this craft vault is all about everything under 20 pounds or under 30 dollars so uh, you don't have to spend a huge amount of money to get your hands on some amazing deals we have got a brilliant collection of embossing folders here for you so if embossing uh, is your thing take a look at this collection 19.95 or 27.75 you're going to get within that collection all of the embossing folders right there all seven of those so you've got your crafty friends embossing folder from the uh, nature's garden peacock collection Collection. Um, that embossing font is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the plumage panel. Then on top of that, you've got your floral butterflies. A lot of these sort of the smaller embossing folders as well. So if you've only got one of your um, uh, midis or mini machines, these are going to be perfect for those two. Then you've got your vine borders and your celebration borders. And the two on the end, which are butterfly dreams and the queen of hearts, you are getting for free. Uh, so you're saving over 20%, uh, and it's 19.95 or 27.75 today. Great little stash builder as well if you're kind of new to crafting and uh, you're wanting to get some embossing folders into your life uh, then this is a great way to go um, with that collection uh, so let's have a look at these with um, Craig lots of comments by the way Craig coming in I know you're going to chat about this over the course of the show but lots of people asking um, did you survive Wrestlemania <laughs> I did uh, I did see that one uh, when I met on YouTube saying did you survive Wrestlemania not did only I did good I did not only did I survive I am now on ready on the countdown to WrestleMania 38 from oh. Dallas, Texas, the AT&T Stadium. Can you believe 356 days to go until the 3rd of April next year? Not that I'm counting. Do not worry, I am not away to go and do another 300 and, what did I write? 56. 56 days of that on Wake Up Call. WrestleMania will be going put to bed as of today, but I did. It was really good. And as, as I did say, just to reiterate as well, for you guys in the Tampa Bay, I know you really did have you know, 
put it this way, first time in 37 years of wrestling to delay, history, they? they had to delay the event as it went live. And the uh, Raymond James Stadium was actually evacuated from the crowd that was in the open air because, as you guys call it, the lightning capital of the world. So, yeah, it was quite, as a viewer at home, safely, it was kind of exciting. Never seen that before. But I know it obviously can't be that exciting when you're in it. So the main thing is, weather seems to be okay afterwards. And it was a really good event. So thank you uh, so much. And do you know what was lovely as well? Is I spent, uh, although I, I was off the weekend, but I was working, prepping. Um, it was so lovely to be chatting to you on social media. Because whether some of you, some of you don't, don't watch wrestling. But what was lovely is because you've taken all of us at Crafters Companion into your, into your hearts at home, what you then do is you've been uh, commenting on my post now, gosh, I remember Craig that me and my granddad used to watch it or me and my nan used to watch it, certainly here in the UK. It was a big thing on terrestrial TV. It was. was free to view TV. Yeah. So although, you know, I know it's a laugh and a joke, Craig, it's been going on about it for, you know, a couple of weeks. It's, it's nice to know, you know, all your backstories as to, you know, wrestling years and years ago. So it was lovely to uh, chat amongst you when it came to, uh, yeah, uh, the history of wrestling. And there you go. He did say he wasn't going to talk about the wrestling today, well, but he's just it. done it for well, five. Well, technically, for five minutes. Technically, I did say from after the show. Ah, no, okay. No, is that what it is? That is it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's have a look and let's see these embossing folders as well. If you have got any of maybe the embossing folders, any of the products on the show, get your pictures in as well. So send them to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk either in this show or throughout the day. We would love to see the pictures that you've been making, but get comment in as well either on youtube or on facebook and myself and ben will read them out see what you've been making certainly over the weekend but let's go into these now what i'm going to do is let's have a look at first of all the peacock collection embossing folder that you get within this one now usually what i always do is i go straight into black and black and wax because that shows it off just beautifully i am going to do that however but what I will do is I will just trim this down onto mirror card first of all. So that you can see, you know, we have seen many times now how well mirror, uh, how well black card and embossing folders work. Yeah. But let's show you what it's even like on mirror card. Now this is Ooh. our Crafter's Companion mirror card. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's not. It's like being at the fair. Put it on your face again. That's funny. It's like the whole of mirrors. Yeah. Now up a bit, up a bit. Oh, there Way, we go. Way. Go up a bit, go up a bit, go up a bit. It's like a, it's like a scene from like The Hills Have Eyes or The Wrong Turn, isn't it? It's not a great look, Craig, if not I'm being honest. Look. It's not, not a great, a great look. look. So we'll not uh, go there any longer. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do, Ben, is yes. run this one through. So I'm going to use just our two clear plates because it is a traditional style embossing folder. Now what I mean by that is it's not a 3D one. We are so unbelievably lucky, and I'm going to be selfish here. I am so lucky that we get to bring to you Hunky Dory here at Crafters TV. So if you've got any of the past collections where they've got any adorable scorable or any of their card stock, you can get incredible, exquisite that is amazing. embossing into mirror card there. Now you could be back doing backgrounds with your glitter pens if you want to and distressing and do it that way. But let's not, uh, let's not not do black card. So if you are a new crafter, which, you know, and I keep saying this, and, you know, I, I hold no apologies for saying this, but with what's going on in the world over the last year or so, a lot of people have turned to crafting. You know, to pass time as a mindful, but you've maybe never seen it onto black card. And this is going to show you how a piece of black card and this is one of the embossing folders, still from the set, but it originally came from the Crafty Fun. Yeah. What I like to do as well, Ben, when it comes to my embossing folders, is I like to sometimes pop my metal shim in. And there's not going to be too much pressure, but what it does do is it just gives it that little bit extra. It's going to push all of that detail through into your card. This could be white card or watercolour card and you do your Spectrum Noir ink techniques on them if you want. But what we can do is straight away on a black card. Now, instantly you're going to think, okay, yeah, great, black card, 
can hey? hardly see what? anything. Hey, Craig, Black Card can hardly see anything. I, that's exactly what I was thinking, but it's like yeah. you're a mind reader. I know. Now, let's go in with some gilding wax. Anything that I'm using that we don't pick up on on the show, check out our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. You'll find gilding wax there, a variety of colours, if they're in stock. And it's, they are inexpensive, and they last you such a long time, because you need very little. Look at the magic happening here. Look this at the magic brilliant. happening. Now, if there's ever a time when it comes to gilding waxes that are going to be perfect for is with your embossing folders yeah but ben letters from the heart launch day later on with you and sarah cannot wait for that gildan waxes are Serious. going to be phenomenal really really phenomenal so have a look at that look at your stash if you've got gildan waxes if you don't check out our website to see what ones we have in stock and worthwhile uh, investing in them because they can honestly last you so so long I am only doing half of them. That looks so cool. Look at that effect there. Yeah. So that is the effect, how it really pulls it through. Now, this specific one, you wouldn't use the other side, Ben, because that's going to give you a back to front yes. font. But you can use the opposite side to get the deboss side on any of the other cardstock. So I know that this one now is white, which is hard for you to see. But let's see if I can highlight that a little bit more with gilding wax only so that you can see. There we go, perfect. Now, nine times out of 10, excluding anything with font, yeah. you can get the backdrop, which is the emboss, that can look just as beautiful and exquisite than the emboss side that you can see here. So embossing folders straight away, pass through the Gemini. These ones are all going to go through your Gemini Junior, as well as your MIDI, as well as your large Gemini. But those smaller ones that are also within that bundle, they're going to go through your Gemini Go and your Gemini MIDI. Uh, well, of course they're going to go through your MIDI, but your Gemini Go and also your Gemini Mini as well. A really is phenomenal one. And do you know what? Either treat yourself or gifts. I know we're only April, but for me personally, this is when I start to look about gifts for Christmas. In you April? Know. Yeah. Wow. It is. Yep. This is when I start to look at gifts and I see something for someone, I think that's going to be great. Um, so do that for any crafty friends. But that is what's just one of many items that we've got on today's craft fault. So I think, what is it, just is it a day or so that they last or until stocks, until stocks last? Uh, till so the stocks right. last year and the stock is flying. Just a quick one before I recap on the deal. Pamela wants to know what colour gilding wax you were using there. So that one I was using there was the Empire Gold. King Gold is very similar to it as well. These two, Empire Gold and King Gold, is kind of like your gold and your gold, I would say. Good. -o. Um, any more questions? Keep this coming. In about five minutes' time, we are going to go live to Chesterfield um, to chat to um, Helen from our store there, uh, because, of course, really excited uh, that here in the UK, stores are opening up again. Uh, lots of things opening up here in the UK as we head out of this lockdown. So we're going to be catching up uh, with Helen very shortly indeed. But as Craig was alluding to, yes, it is our craft fault. And yes, this is a brilliant deal. If you love your embossing folders, then this is a deal absolutely to go for. And also, if you're a bit like Craig and you start your Christmas shopping in April, then why wouldn't you go for this? Because again, for that sort of price, under £20, under $30, you can maybe keep a few for yourself, pop a few away in the present drawer. And the great thing is with your embossing folders, they're so super versatile. And this collection particularly, you've got something which is a little bit quirky, haven't you? Yeah, then you've got something which is a little bit vintage. You've got something which has got the beautiful butterflies on. You've then got something for celebrations. And don't forget in these two um, sets here, your um, celebration borders, you've got those two different designs, there's two embossing folders there, and same again with your vine borders, um, two different smaller embossing folders for you, and that completes the um, nine piece collection. These two here, uh, you're getting for free within this collection. 3D embossing folders as well, don't forget. So really great deal um, to get your hands on these today, saving over 20%, uh, and it brings it to 19.95 or 27.75 before your discount, of course, as well. If you're platinum, 16.92, which is amazing, or 23 dollars 11. Lots more to chat about as far as Craft Bowl is concerned, but before that, uh, it's time to look at this week's Get It, Got It, Good deal. So uh, your Get It, Got It, Good deal this week is uh, your um, 
Uh, Crafters Inspiration 29, and it is a fantastic price. 5.99 or 11.97, uh, jam-packed full of ideas, of course, of hints and tips. 870 plus downloadable digi elements, and all of these goodies that you're seeing here, uh, you get within the magazine for free. I mean, these on a normal day are great value for money, but to get it today for that price, on your get it got it good deal, which is around for the week or whilst stocks last, uh, make sure you do not miss out. So, as we've mentioned, it is so exciting here in the UK. It seems like we've been waiting an absolute age, uh, but things are beginning to ease. We had that roadmap set out at the start of the year, and yesterday, Monday the 12th of April, is the day where um, kind of like retail stores are um, opening up again here in the UK. And as you will know, you may not know, uh, we do, of course, have stores here in the UK uh, as well, our Crafters Companion stores, and of course, they're opening up today as well. So hugely excited to say that we've got our head of retail sales with us on the show this morning, uh, Helen Hollings, who is coming to us live from Chesterfield. Uh, Hi. Helen, Hi. good afternoon, how are you? Hi, great. Excellent stuff. And um, you're in the Chesterfield store and you've got the mask on because the store's inside a shopping centre, isn't it? Yeah, we're in the shopping centre, so everyone has to wear a mask. Obviously, we're following all the guidelines. And um, what's it been like? What was the buzz like for you personally uh, this morning when you got to go back into the store? You must have been oh, thrilled. It's amazing just to see all the teams and how excited they were. And the fact, you know, back in the day when we were closed for Christmas for a few days when the shops were shut many years ago, and then that buzz when everybody came back, it was just like that. It was just like amazing, just everybody coming in and looking for all the offers. It was just so good. Has it been as busy as expected? Because I was listening to the radio on the way up today, and a lot of people, um, a lot of people on the radio were saying, "Oh, because it's so cold, it might put people off coming out to the shops." Has it, has it been busy at the store this this uh, this morning? We have lovely sunshine here in Chesterfield. Always. And everybody, and I know I've talked to the girls in Evesham, and equally, everybody's coming to Crafters Companion. So yes, we've seen a lot of regulars, which is great news. And I, I guess I mean you've already touched on it, but the buzz has been amazing, and I, and I guess. Um, within the stores, you get to see your regulars, you know, people who pop in all the time. Have you seen a few familiar faces already as well? Definitely, definitely. You know, they all come in and it's all good to be back. And, oh, yeah, it's been amazing. Um, for people who um, don't know, I know we've got a lot of um, US viewers, just touch on where the stores are here in the UK. Yeah, we've got stores, obviously, in Chesterfield, where I am today. We've got Evesham, which is the valley shopping centre. And we've also got a small concession in the Bounty Mill stores at home. And for people who are thinking about popping down to the stores today, um, what kind of precautions have you had to, to put in place within the stores? What can people expect that might be slightly different to sort of pre-lockdown? We've got um, a specific entrance for customers where they can walk in, sanitise their hands. Then we've got a spacing around the store. We've removed fixtures so there's more space to look around. And we've obviously got screens at the tills, we've got markings on the floor, like you say. So it's all as safe as we can make it. It sounds absolutely brilliant. What, what time are you uh, open till today if people want to pop down? We're up until 4.30 today. We've got restricted hours just for the first couple of weeks. So we will obviously review those hours in a couple of weeks and probably go back to full trading time then. Well, listen, Helen, we're so super excited and it's great to see you and, and uh, make sure you send our love to uh, everyone in the stores there. And uh, so great that you're open again. Have a brilliant day and have yeah, a brilliant rest of the week. Thanks. Bye, Helen. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, how fantastic oh, is wow. that, Craig? Oh, gosh, brilliant. So good, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, big thank you to Helen. And of course, if you want to pop down to um, our store today, Chesterfield store, uh, open till um, 4.30. Or well, here they come, actually. So Chesterfield store, uh, Monday to Saturday, 9.30 till 4.30. Sundays, 10.30 till 4.30. Uh, there are the opening hours for Evesham. So Monday to Saturday, 10 till 5. Sundays, 10.30 till 4.30. Uh, food takeout finishes at 3. And your drink takeout finishes at 4. And then, of course, the Boundary Mill... Um, 
and concession as well. Monday to Saturday, 9.30 till 4.30. Uh, Sundays, 10.30 till 4.30. But you've got that browse time, of course, uh, on a Sunday from 10 till 11. Super excited. Honestly, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's been amazing. Obviously, you know, we've been able to uh, continue on here and uh, bring you all the deals, bring you all the goodies, but how great that the stores are opening up. And uh, I know there's a lot of buzz right across the UK uh, for all of these um, stores opening up again. Talking about buzz, one thing we are absolutely buzzing for, which Craig is going to take you through, is our launch day coming up at three o'clock UK time. Uh, brand new um, Sara Signature collection. Letters from the heart. And I know you're really buzzing about this, Craig, aren't you? I am. Really, really am. Straight away, it's the colour tones that's going to work well with this collection and throughout the collection. So we are going to touch upon that. Now, I don't usually on Wake Up Call, I'll show you the big boards or that. But once again, I was kind of like, really want to show you the board so you can get an idea before we actually go into a bit of crafting, which we're going to do. Let's just say as well, a lot of uh, excitement for uh, our stores opening up and that as well. You know, it does, fingers crossed, certainly here in the UK, across the globe as well. Let's hope that we are all on that road to normality. Yes, normality. Please. I know, eh? whatever that is. A uh, lot of people loving to see you back, Ben. Oh, thank um, you. Saying, did you do any crafting with Daisy while you were off? Uh, well, actually we did. Um, I'll just track a time now, but the, I, kept, I got back home the Monday after Easter. So we did some Easter cards together on Monday. Um, we did a little Easter egg hunt and then we did loads of baking. We had a full oh. on Mosby bake off. We did carrot cake. We did banana loaf. We did cookies. We did um, uh, chocolate chip cupcakes. I would have brought some in for you guys, but obviously... I was a way to say, yeah, we... they did, did absolutely taste lovely. Yeah. It's what I would have said yeah. if he brought any in. Yeah, But Sorry. they didn't. But, oh well. That was a week ago. Time. I'll I'll do it ne next time. I'll bring you some in, Craig. Uh, yeah, do that. Everyone would love that. It doesn't matter how long they read it. You know, all of us in here, they'll eat in. They're yeah, that's true, actually. garnets in here. That is true. You put anything on that table out there, it's gone. gone. Uh, Karen uh, Fisher on Facebook is saying the weather was really bad in Tampa Bay yesterday. A lot of down trees. My best friend didn't have power for most of the day. Wow. Uh, thankfully, she was all right. She didn't lose power. So, um, yeah, it's the um, main thing is all good and well, fingers crossed, at the moment ago. Um, I, do you know what would be as, as good as well? And I'm going to try not use the WM word. Right. But what I would, I would love to be about WrestleMania. Ah. I, I, I could see the confusion look on his screen. I, I just had to think for a second then what you meant, w, yeah. WM, WrestleMania. I, just, I yeah. think because it was 8 p.m. Eastern time, if you're in that surrounding area, open top stadium with all the pyro going off, imagine if you're, you know, miles around living and you see the pyro going off, things like that. Anyway, promise, shut up, Craig. Let's get on with this one. <laughs> Letters from the home. And shut believe up, you Craig. me, this time I wasn't being told to be quiet. I just no, thought, wasn't. let's go for it. Told myself to be quiet, because I can hear myself rattling on. Windows, well, I say windows from the heart. Letters from the heart. Get it right, Craig. Uh, letters from the heart here. So this is what's coming up later on with Ben and Sarah. So uh, later on, launch day, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Oh, is that all of It's both of them. Oh, look at right Charlie here at the window. They're waving. I just now. see two little heads just go past the window there. It's like, there you go. Oh, if only we could bring them in for you to see. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is let's show you the boards here. I can see they're peeping out the corner there. <laughs> Looking through the windy. So 12 by 12, double-sided. Now, think vintage, but then think of your mints, your purples, your pastel tones. Absolutely gorgeous. Like I picked along at the beginning. Now, I am, as a crafter, as a humongous lover of Crafter's Companion, I am saying what some of you guys are thinking at home, and it's, Craig, we've just had a huge um, vintage collection from Sarah, which we have, and it was big, and it's phenomenal, and it's gorgeous. So this time, it's going to carry on from that collection when it comes to the designs, but however, it's not an overly huge collection. So it's a nice one for you to maybe dip your toe in when it comes to crafting, get a little Gemini machine, or maybe even the MIDI or the Junior, stock dependent, of course, and then they're going to fit through your small ones. 
You've got your die, so you've got your envelopes. These make the little envelopes. These layer up on top of each other when it comes to the stamps with the dies. Now look at this one here. So this one is your typewriter. Now this die cuts is the typewriter and you've got all these sentiments as well. So this is now, this actually, this is a, a continuation. It's one paper pad, but this is still within that original one that we showed you right at the start of the show all matte so you can continue to ink and emboss on top of it if you want we've got these torn edges so this is one set with your little butterflies here so either nested dies shape cards anything like that then we've got the tropical or the tropical tropical, tropical. i've got tropical on my mind traditional script here now this one as well as the vintage postmarks these are traditional in the fact of they're not 3d trust me ben these do not need to be 3d the depth that you get from these are just exquisite then we've got this stamp set so this is your classic postmark stamps love and sentiment stamps as well then what we've got is some more embossing folders but this is your lace edge embossing folders here another one that's going to go through your mini or your go emboss one side turn it around and boss the other and then we've got our letters from the heart wax seals with love those ones here gorgeous yes absolutely gorgeous you've got that red tone but you've got that copper tone as well so whether you are maybe going to be using them um, in conjunction with a collection Sarah done the other year, uh, Vintage Lace, you're going to be using it with Vintage Diaries last year. Maybe incorporate it with the other ones you absolutely can do. Add your own touch with the inking if you want. But let's go straight in. Now, I'm loving the idea of going back to ATC cards, artist trading cards. They're roughly round about three inch by two inch and what they are now ben ben actually to me he says to me he's one of those pokemon guys in the past pokemon gotta catch them all there you go why doesn't that surprise I, me I, I, pokemon was a bit in between in between times for me i was sort of slightly uh too old all right johnny johnny's gone too old johnny said um, it not me i was slightly too old but i but yeah um, a little bit too old, but I did get involved in the, did you guys have that in the US, the Pokemon, the app thing where you used to go out, Pokemon Go, yeah. and you used to collect the digital Pokemon. You used to do that. It's a bit sad when you're 35 years old, but you know, there you go, swandering around the streets. Get out of the way, I've got to get myself a Squirtle. Um, you know, it happens. I didn't actually quite expect you to go into that much detail. <laughs> All that I was going to say is yep. remember the things of your Pokemon, your trading cards. This yep. is now what crafters would do. And it's something that's been done for many years. You make them and you trade them with friends, uh, families that are crafters. Yeah. This is slightly bigger because what I've done is I've taken that larger torn edge. So not only is it bigger, it's going to be bigger depth wise. But I like that idea of maybe re rejuvenating the uh, idea of artist trading cards. Well, so you just make your own cards? What, and, and yep. what, like batch make like five or six of one type and then you trade them off with somebody else? Uh, or just make one of each? Yeah, no, you just make one. Yeah. So the idea is every single card, artist yep. trading card that you've done, and keeping in mind, it's not big. It's, it's I want to say it's round about three inch by two inch. Yeah. It's a tiny little piece of art. It's one of a kind. You never, you know, purposely go to recreate the same one time and time again. And you just trade them. You just trade them to uh, your friend. Obviously, the, you know, what you would do is post it out to your crafty friends. And this, this day and age, with the way that social media and that is, and crafting is, I think this would be great. Can you imagine if you've got crafty friends? You're here in the UK. You've made crafty friends in... Tampa Bay, New yeah. York, LA, wherever you are, and you start to trade with them with the little cards that you've made. It's such a lovely idea, such a nice thing to do, and it's a work of art. So this is where what I'm saying is kind of like um, an upscale in it slightly. So I've taken that decorative die, which is you, your envelope, and what I'm doing is I've die cut it, and it is die cut all of the detail around the edges. Oh, wow. So all that I'm doing now is I'm folding it in. Now you also, within that set, Ben, you yeah. get this die, which then... Oh, does that create a little card? Cuts 
a little card. Oh, brilliant. Now, I've done it in white. Thing to say as well with white, very rare, and if you really look at a collection, very rare does a collection work really well with either both ivory or white. Mm. Usually it's one or the other. Now, I've made a few cards over the weekend where my basis of the layers were ivory, and I've done some where the basis of the layers were white. And either way, it looked spectacular. So it works well in that way as well. Versatility. Now I'm going to skip this stage. So this is one of the patterned papers. And using the next size down, I've die cut this one here. What the? What are you doing that for? Don't like it. What? Don't like it. Why have you just, what? You could just no, kept the... I'm adding texture to it. Ah. So you can run it through the embossing folder if you want to. That's going to give you a form of texture. Is that an actual technique then, screwing it up like that, is it? it yeah. Oh. Yep. Give it a really uh, good crumple up. You tear the edges, tore the edges, don't worry about it. And the more you do it, the more flexible it's going to get. So let's open it up again and let's crumple it the other way. And it's going to give you a very easy way of creating a full leathered effect. So what we can do is open it up again and let's open it all the edges here. And I'm going to be careful where I've got that really like edge. <laughs> it's and a £20 then, pound note! Yeah, <laughs> if only, if only. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a bit of Friar Brown. Now this could be Seal Brown if you want. And what happens is the creases will also pick up a lot of that uh, sharpness of the colour. So we're going to go over all the way around. And then what I'm going to do, and I'm being careful at this, but I like that torn edge, but if I really pull my blending tool, I'm yeah. going to rip it off. If that happens in this style, don't worry about it. It's a bit like flower forming. If the petal falls off or comes off, just attach it again with a bit of glue. Then, gild and wax again. This time, I'm going to go for Renaissance Gold. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go around the edges and I'm going to go light in some bits. I'm going to go dark in other bits. So you can get this collection and out the box, cut it, emboss it, stamp it, make gorgeous, exquisite cards. Or you can sit back and you can then bring in your mixed media, bring in your gessos, bring in your sprays, your paints. We've got, I know we've still got some uh, shimmer uh, sprays from Hunky Dory on oh, our yes. website. Check them out and use them. But then what I'm doing is lightly with my finger, I'm scruffing. Uh, all that I'm doing is I'm scruffing. Oh. And that is also picking up all of those highlighted parts yeah. of the uh, scrumpled edges. Oh, scrumpled and scruffing. Scrumpled edges. Yeah. So you can then, look at that. Yeah. The depth of tone. Now what I've done, done this again with seal brown, uh -huh. but gone lighter with the, Ooh. that's that's Renaissance gold, but I've gone very, very light with that one, Ben. I'm going to use that one because I don't want to be like, well, why did he do that other one? Let's use that one. I've done that one. It's always about time. You know, as many of you know, we try and have lots of bit pre prep so that we can show you as much as we can, although we want to do as much as we can live. So what I'm then going to do, and now this is something, now I want you to get your phones ready, get your cameras ready, because this is something that you're not going to see a lot, bringing in your glue gel. What so the? Glue gel. What the? Glue gel works better what? here. What? Yeah. Now, what? Get, get your recording equipment. Right, we call this at 12.44, Monday, the 12th of April. You've glue seen gel that you've not seen. <laughs> works better than foam pads with this. Well, I never did. Because you want that flexibility, you want that free flowing movement. Yeah. You don't want it to be stagnant, you want that, uh, again, bounce and that's what glue gel does. Do you know what I've done as well, Ben? So I'm already, I've already got one pre-prep, so I'm not too concerned, but I, I want to dull down this ivory a little bit more. 
So what I should have done to start with, so let's bring in the one that I'd already pre-prepped. And then I'm going to work my way round. And I'm not too concerned about the centre bit because we're going to be covering that as it is. Yeah. So let's do this. Uh, Karen, uh, if you're on Facebook, is saying that you love the papers and the typewriter. Yeah, there's loads of yeah. love coming in for um, this collection. Um, I believe if any of you are, are maybe, because we do know, you know, cost is a thing as well. You know, we know people have to watch their pennies. But if anything as an individual is going to sell out first, I, I think that? it's going to be... Well, if we, if we exclude the paper oh, pad, okay. which uh, Johnny's just said in our ear, it's flying, mm. I think it's going to be the typewriter. Oh, yeah, that typewriter to, is stunning, isn't it? I think that's going to go first, apart from the paper pad. Lynn Harvey on Facebook. I know I'm jumping down your comments slightly. I know I'm between myself and Ben will go back. She's just put, oh my God, big capital letters. Craig, Craig is using chunky glue gel and lots of shocked emojis. I know. And laughing emojis. And laughing emojis as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not something you see every day. It's to not. To be honest with you. So, um, yeah, you've got, you got a bit of a, a, bit of a scoop there. Um, Anne's asking, is the envelope big enough for a gift card? The, the, I would not a gift card. So once it's all folded down, the envelope is three and a quarter yeah. by two and a quarter. So it's nice to just tuck in a little note. Yeah. And this is what it's about. Letters from the heart. It's, yes, we can send our friends and family little cards just to say, hi, we're thinking of you. That's what Kieran Thoughts was about. But now this is still being able to do that, but maybe just bringing in that vintage feel to it. Yeah. With bringing in extra colour to it. You can uh, certainly do that one. It's, it's about giving them a little letter, a little note, but in a different style. And that's what this collection is all about. It is gorgeous. And I tell you what, so many of you have already said you've already bought this. Uh, loads of you say loving the papers, loving the typewriter. Pamela's bought uh, extra paper as well. Um, it is going to fly out the door when we officially launch this in just over two hours from now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm not surprised. Wow. So still within that envelope, I've taken these ones here. Now, these bits I will just skip forward. So combining ivory and white. A lot of people say it doesn't work well together. I'm telling you, there is times and occasions that it does work well. So what I've done is I love you. Stamp that out into Noir Quick Dry. Now, you can go round with a little bit of the Friar Brown or Seal Brown, whichever one that you're using. I'm not. So let's bring this one back in. Again, get the cameras ready with the flash photography ready. <laughs> Blue gel. Twice! Twice. In three minutes. In three minutes. We're going on the back. Next thing you know, Debbie Robinson is going to be using uh, phone pads. Phone pads. Yeah. <laughs> and the world will have completely changed. The world's gone nuts. The world's nuts. gone mad. So tucking it in, it's all about tucking in. And then what I'm going to do, can I just ask Johnny, how long have I got on this bit? Oh, 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 as long as you want. Oh, I've never been Don't told say that. that to him, for goodness sake. You'll be doing this for another 42 minutes. He won't uh, stop. No, we've got so much more I want to show. So I'm not going to, not going to take as long as I want. 30 so seconds, he said. 30 you got... seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. Now, I have taken some of these foliage bits. Now, one of them I am going to do, just so that we can show you. And these are great, sizable foliage. So what I'm going to do is let's bring in one of the leaves here and you get the dies to go with these two. So let's pop these bits back and then actually, do you know what? Instead, let's save a tiny little bit of time and instead of bringing in my huge uh, four by four stamping platform, I'm just going to bring in one of the wee acrylic blocks that I've got within my crafty stash. So I'm using here the grasshopper and I'm stamping this with my grasshopper, water reactive. I've brought in another bit of ivory. Now this isn't special ivory or cream card. This is just what I have in my stash and I know so many of you have this sort of color as well. Yeah. Could be texture from our 12 by 12, it's up to yourself. And then at this point, this is where I would die cut it out, Ben, or die cut and then stamp. Yeah. And then all that I've done with a water brush is I've gone over the top just to pull out that colour slightly. That's it. All that I've done, I've done three of them. Now I don't need three, but I've got three. 
And I've done the same with these little berry strands as well. So you've got your dies here. Think of flower forming, going to be good for the back of them. Yeah. And then what we can do, let's bring this one in and then we're going to do a little bit more tuckage here. A bit more what? A little bit more tuckage. Tuckage? Tuckage. Tuckage. Oh, tuckage. Tuckage. I was thinking, he's using a phrase that I've never heard before. <laughs> I've heard of decoupage. Tuckage. Uh, but I've never heard of tuckage. Tuckage as well. What is yep. it that Debbie Robinson always says uh, like that? She can't say, oh yeah, fo foliage. Foliage. Foliage and tuckage. Foliage. Uh, you have got some foliage there that you're going to tuckage. I am. Yes. Will you be doing any decoupage? Uh, not in this no. show anyway. No. no. <clears throat> Never know. Um, have a look on Monday Makers. Maybe do some then. Tell you what, there's so much chatter about this. Uh, the three o'clock show is going to be absolutely uh, huge. Cathy saying, oh, this collection looks lovely. Um, I think this bundle, says Lisa, extends to the vintage diary and they both 100%. extend to precious memories. Yep. Uh, and Aisha just saying, love the envelope, perfect for the vintage diary collection. So that was the previous one, wasn't it? It is, yeah. Mm. And that's why I wanted to pick up on it, Ben, because we know, and we know at Crafters Compassion, that it's not that long since Sarah's brought one out. But what we need to remember as well is we love to cater to so many tastes. Now, Vintage Diary maybe wasn't everyone's taste, yeah. but they loved that thought of the vintage feel, but wanted more of a spring-like colour. And that's what we've done when it comes to this collection here, because what I am going to do as well, let's just bring this one in uh, from up above so we can see here, Vintage Diaries was a lot more darker colours. Yeah. Gorgeous, but darker. This time it's got that Vintage Diary feel, but it's got all of these nice, subtly pastel, relaxing tones here. So if the Vintage Diary wasn't your cup of tea, then your Letters from the Heart will be, or vice versa. It's to cater for you. And if you want to go for both of them, boy, you're going to have a phenomenal time crafting, that's for sure using them separate or incorporating both. And then last but not least, going back to my torn edges, what I've done is I've taken this butterfly and I've used one of the patterned papers within the set. And I've got three here. So let's use the three that I've already done because you don't die cut them in any different way. It's still just your main plate combination. Uh -huh. And what I'm going to do, let's actually use some glue gel here. And very rarely that when I use my glue gel, do I use my actual syringe. I either just go straight on using the actual tube or I use a pokey tool to do it. Okay. So I'm going to pop this one into here. Of course, it said, did you see how Craig manhandled the glue? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why I don't use it a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then, so rough. <laughs> so rough. And then what I would also do, yeah. just to finish it off, now I don't have a hole punch with oh, me, okay. but not to worry. What we can do is go into the corner and create our own. And I'm just using our flower forming mat for this one here. That's what it's for, robust for doing any piercing. And then we can tuck this one in. So I'm going to push it in so I can get it coming out the other way. And I'm not going to tie it, I'm going to fold it in. Perfect. And that is what I've done with yeah, that I'll one. Tell you what, that is brilliant, Craig. That is top notch. So, you know, I do, uh, primarily I do card making like a lot of you do. But please, when it comes to this collection, uh, Sarah's going to show you some more phenomenal things. So yes, card making, scrapbooking, because it's 12 by 12. Maybe you've got your 8x8, 10x10 memory books. Maybe you've got the little precious memory, home decor, gifts, to send someone something to say that you love them. Maybe you want to start and do maybe your new style of artist trading cards. Granted, that's a bit bigger and a bit bulkier, but you've got that versatility as well. It's not an overpowering collection that is going to maybe kind of like frazzle you as to what am I going to create first of all. It's a nice, simple one to start with. Or, if you are one of those that buy every Sarah's signature collection, the things that you're going to be able to use and incorporate these with, not just our products, others. Uh, collection we had last week from Hunky Dory. 
would work so well with here. you weren't here. So I nah. don't know why I'm looking at you. No, don't ask um, me. But yeah, other collections that you've got, bring them in together and tie them in. Um, I'll tell you what, there's so much excitement for this. Three o'clock, you need to be here for launch day. Um, lots of love for that demo as well. Pam just saying, Pamela, Craig, fantastic. Love the rustic vintage look. And then there's loads of you going, well, do you know what? The bank balance doesn't really stretch to this, but I'm giving in anyway. Val says, looks like another must have set. Sorry, bank balance. That's Val in Southampton. Uh, and Hannah says, uh, help, I'm about to give in. Karen then says, don't ask for help here. We're all enablers. Exactly right. But what I would say with this as well, for 81.38 or 115.21, um, it is that little bit more affordable, particularly if you are a Platinum member as well. You definitely need to treat yourself to this as well. Because remember, these Sarah Signature um, collections always a limited run. So you need to get them uh, before they sell out. Just to remind you, of course, if you missed the little chat we had earlier on with um, Helen, uh, our area retail sales manager, we were hugely excited to have her on the show because we're celebrating the fact that the retail stores are open here in the UK. Lots has changed as of today, lots of things reopening. So if you are here in the UK and you want to visit one of our stores, uh, check this out, the store opening time. So we've got a store in Chesterfield, they're open Monday to Saturday, uh, 9.30 till 4.30, Sunday's 10.30 till 4.30. Evesham, uh, if you want to pop down there, they're Monday to Saturday, 10 till 5, Sunday's 10.30 till 4.30. And then we've also got a store uh, a concession at Boundary Mill, uh, which is Monday to Saturday, 9.30 till 4.30, and Sunday's 10.30 till 4.30. You've got that browse time on a Sunday as well, as you do have in most shops, I think, uh, 10 till 11 on Sunday. But we're so super excited. So if you, if you are in the area of any of those stores, get down, see the guys, support the guys who are back. Uh, and if you watch back that interview we did a little bit earlier on, you'll know that we're taking all of the necessary precautions, of course we are, um, that need to be in place for the stores to be reopened. So it's really exciting. Uh, and thank you for all the lovely comments coming in as well. I know a few of you um, very excited about the fact uh, that the stores are back open. Lots of people as well are very excited about the fact uh, that Craig was using 3D glue on his last demo. Lynn has said that she's taken screenshots for proof. So there you go. That will be a, uh, a collector's piece in years to come. Uh, but listen, as well as it being wake-up call, it is Craft Vault, of course, too, and our crafty Craft Vault items today are all about uh, being under £20 or under $30. So take a look at this collection here, uh, talking about those signature collections. This is a selection from the Rose Gold um, collection. Absolutely beautiful. Love all the fact that your dies in there, of course, are in that Rose Gold collection. You're going to get uh, Love, Wish and this beautiful uh, modern rose set here. So those are your gorgeous dies. And then... The top row here, you're getting for free, unbelievably. You've got your stamp and die set, the sparkle and shine, which is stunning. And this embossing folder is just magnif uh, magnificent. The decorative rose frame, uh, both of those come to you for free. And you can see the price on the screen that this should usually be, almost £48 or $62. You're paying $19.97 or $26.97 today. Again, it may well be that you've thought about getting elements from the rose gold collection before, um, or you've bought individual items. This is a great way to complete that set. And again, as we said earlier on with embossing folders, you can buy a few for yourself. You can keep the freebies and give those away as gifts it is entirely up to you but don't miss out on these deals today because they are proving very very popular indeed um, so much chat coming in um, the launch uh, later on of the brand new collection is going to be huge as I say Mary Kay just saying uh, just ordered the collection yesterday looking forward to getting it and creating with it but let's have a look at this era collection uh, the rose gold collection what are you going to show us from this Craig uh, so I'm possibly one of my favourite elements from this little set that we've got here. Just to say as well, also going back on to that brand new collection, on the 30th of April, 30th of April, there's going to be a craft along Good. when it comes to the brand new collection. Good day so, that, 30th of April. Don't, don't forget that day. Good day. Great day. Oh, is it? Yeah, good day. Is it? Yeah. I'm presuming then it's someone's birthday. Great. Really good, really good guy. Good guy's birthday yeah. on that day. Uh, are you working? No. Oh, you're not? No. Oh. So you can send, send presents. Yeah. And cake. Oh, I would do, but do you know something? What? I'm actually off on a little break then. I've got a week's holiday and oh. I'll actually be in Scotland, so... Oh, you can send presents from Scotland. I will, we will celebrate when, uh, when I come back. Good. Sounds like good. Sounds like good idea. Does sound like does good. Sound like, does. Good. Sounds like good. 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 Excellent. Sounds like good idea. Marvellous. So 30th. 30th of April yes. with Debbie Fisher, I believe, is doing that craft along. So uh, keep, um, keep that in mind. Uh, oh, do you know... Here we Whoa. go. Have what? a look at this. Ah, there you go. There we go. So join Debbie from the Letters from the Heart. So that is the 30th of April. So there you go. So that is the 3 p.m. slot, 10 a.m. Eastern slot as well. 
Good one. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> good one. It, it, it will be a good one. It will be one. good. They're all, they're all good. It will be great. They're all good. I shall tune in on my birthday. You should do it. Yes. I will. And talking about craft along, keep your eyes peeled because someone else in this room, and it's not him because he's not a crafter, has one on Friday. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it's just about all cl completed. So keep your eyes peeled on my social media pages and uh, all the crafters' companion for your little list as to what you're going to need. What are you, what are you doing a craft I'm not with? telling you. Oh. I am not telling well, you. Well, I could just have a look in my diary. Well, you could, yeah, I suppose you could do, couldn't you? Yeah. You could are we do. not allowed to say what it is? Uh, I don't think it's that we're oh. not allowed. It's just... You're not saying. I kind of want to keep you on suspense Oh, okay. Well, then we'll not say then. We'll not say then. Yeah. Shh. So what I'm going to do now is I absolutely adore these modern roses yeah. that we can see into play. <laughs> I, right, okay. Johnny is constantly going in my ear about telling you what, what it is. So let's go. If you loved our advanced twist and pop. Twist and pop. Mm -hmm, yep. Then that is going to be the one for you. So that is this Friday. Oh, that's the craft along, is it? Craft along. Oh, right, I thought you said you weren't going to say. Yeah, but then for like 30, 40 <laughs> seconds before that, I was also telling you how um, uh, Johnny was constantly going on in my ear. When have you ever done anything he's asked you to do? I always do. <laughs> oh, okay. As I'm told. Yeah, always, always. Always. Always when it comes to Johnny. The legend that is Johnny. All right. Why wouldn't you listen? <laughs> So we're die cutting this one through. Now the reason the I love this one. Five is in the one, post, Johnny. The reason I love this one is it's such a modern style, and it's going to go with so many of your different collections. So what I've done is we've got just even three in this one set here. Now, good sizable one. That's your biggest one. So that is roughly that is actually two by two, two inch by two inch. But then what we've got as well, we've got this smaller one that you can see here. And then we've even got the little leaf to go with it. Now, what I would be inclined to do is they are more about a skeleton look, but back that onto another piece of card, fussy cut round, and you've got a stable base that you can pop into your projects. But then what we've also got, now I'm not going to cut or emboss all of them, but what we can then do is bring in in this sentiment. So we've got wish and we've got love. So let's bring this one out and we can show you these ones. So with your wish and with your love, because these are a sizable one which are round about just shy of four inches. Well, let's be more precise. It's 3.9 inch by 2.2. .2. Yeah. So that is certainly with the wish one. And then when it comes to the, get my plate combination right, Craig. When it comes to the love, it's 3.9 by 1.8. So they're not little diddy little die cut sentiments. They're a good sizable one for, even sizable for the center of your cards or projects. So I would actually, you could even use that in conjunction with your letters from the heart demo that I've done. But what we've got is, into, oh, <laughs> Bless you, Alicia. Poor thing. You've just put, wondering where Craig is going with this demo. We're all wondering the same, Aisha. We're all wondering the same. We just have to t take it on confidence that yes. he knows what he's doing. Or we can just tell you it's a craft vault deal, so I am simply... Just cutting stuff. Showing you what they look like. Hey! So here we are. So we've got the wish and we've got the love. And then what we've also got within these ones here. Now, I am going to show you a few finished samples that I've got. But we've even got a cut and emboss folder. So straight away from the packaging, we've got this nice ornate oval centre that's going to cut out. But then what we've got is we've got this super cool sparkle and shine. This is a die and stamp set. Now what this does is this creates a shaker in the middle. If you want, you don't have to, but you've got that versatility and keeping them flat or maybe making them as a movement card or project. Yeah. 
but if I bring these ones in here, so I'll direct you to the parts that we're wanting to have a look at. So this one is focusing on the wish, finishing off your project using the wish die, and then maybe your concept yes. cards, your side steppers. So there's your shaker element that we can see. I'll be asking the pop garden that later on. Be. That's Joe right now. Yeah. Then you've got your <laughs> other one here. So this is your cutting and boss folder. Always like to say, drink responsibly. Absolutely. Another one here. So this is using that cut and emboss folder, but it's using those roses at each side and also using the love within the middle. Another shaker on this one here. So shaker, the wish with the roses onto here. So lots of different looks. Look at this one, color wise. So yes, it's rose gold, but change the color up if you want to. It can look completely different. And then another great big concept one. So let's bring this one oh, and then yeah. last but not least which looks like a little small card to go around the bottle oh cool Do that's you know, brilliant you know you know even like debbie robinson would have an abundance of these with the amount of bottles that she has Whoa. but it just goes to show how you've got that versatility and even something that is a nice smaller bundle or whether you are wanting to treat yourself and go with that with the new collection today. Tie them in together, lots of different things that you can do. Um, and you haven't done your allows, Karen's just saying. Did I miss hearing Johnny say hello? Oh, I didn't, I didn't. You haven't done them, have you? Not done them. Do you right do them anymore? Oh, you do, you no, do, do them. No, I do, oh, do, do them. them. So let's do it. Good afternoon, Johnny. Good afternoon. Are you well? Very good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you very much. Good weekend? I'm doing that. Very good. Progress, don't worry, because he has to run back and forwards to the microphone. Johnny? Charlotte, Charlotte's in the building. Are you well, Charlotte? Hi. There you go. There we are. Ben, you're all right. Well, we've touched upon that, so we're fine about that one. Oh, all right. There oh, it's not as exciting for me either, because I don't get a button to press to, uh, you know, to speak through the speaker. Didn't you want to ask Johnny one more thing? I can't remember. I, I, I did, actually. Yeah, I thought yeah. you did, yeah. Did Leo like the wrestling? He loved it. He still got last night's to watch. Oh, exciting. So jealous. He's still got it to watch. <laughs> still talking about the rest of it. Uh, you haven't watched tonight, uh, last night's yet, have you? Or you know Mo the results? Most, I've seen most ah. of it. I stayed up Saturday night, but you know, I had to be fresh for today, so I didn't stay up last night, but I've seen most of it, but I do know the results of what I've not seen. Well, there you go. Um, we'll Red! Stop. We'll stop. We'll stop. You, you can tell him what he said if you want. Saying, is, is this me fresh? <laughs> <laughs> um, moving swiftly on, by the way, you, you, have got, um, you have got your card stamped by the majority of our viewers today saying that you are allowed to talk about WrestleMania just for the rest of the day today. <laughs> and then after that then, that, then that is it. No more WrestleMania for the next, whatever it was, 355 days. Um, 356 you... days. All right. Dallas, Three... Texas. Yes. Yeah. With the cheerleaders. Did you say you were watching a programme about the Dallas, Texas cheerleaders or something back along? Stop leading oh. me down into that. You were, you were, you were. He was telling me about it before the show and he was showing me, he does his own, he does his own little special cheer he does. I, I won't do it because I can't do it as well as he does, but he does, give me a C, C, give me an R, R. He does this thing. He said he'll do it. He'll do it later on for you, probably. A bit of entertainment. Um, right, let us move on. Uh, <laughs> I can see him in my screen now and he does not look very happy. Uh, the Rose Gold Collection, under £20, under $30. He's still staring at me. Uh, let's move on <laughs> swiftly <laughs> to the Make a Statement Collection. Yeah, I tell you what, he was making a statement with his cheerleading earlier on. Uh, the Make a Statement Collection is limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... Soon won't be seen. Yay! Uh, this Maker Statement Collection is brilliant. And it's the one that we warned you about, actually, before the show. The one which is flying out the door. Uh, the one which is now down to double figures as far as stock is concerned. Love this, uh, because you're going to get with this uh, your stamp and die numbers, which allow you to create uh, beautiful um, uh, cards like this. So absolutely perfect, again, for personalisation. Uh, and of course, you get with this your, I always forget the name of them, your ordinals. That's it, isn't it? Your, 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 
and all of those to be able to create all those cards. So the stamp and dice for all of those included. And then the um, freebies that you're going to get within this, you're going to get your glue tape pen. And then on top of that, you're also going to get your make a statement uh, and. So your, um, your and sign here in the stamp and die, but it also comes with stamps to give you, I've got one here actually, where has it gone? Uh, your Mr. and Mrs. And then you can... <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Then you've all <laughs> then you've also got mum and dad. Oh, he hasn't got a song for that one. Uh, and and then also bride and groom. He's not got one for that either. Uh, but the point is, it just brings you beautiful personalisation right across the board um, with those. But get them whilst they're here because they are going to sell out. Nineteen ninety nine or twenty four ninety five, saving over thirty percent. Um, and of course, you get your um, you get your uh, discount off that as well if you're part of our club inspire. Right, I, I've just looked at the time. We've got 20 minutes to go, so I think we're going to have a quick look at this. How many of these have we got left, Johnny? Not many, have we? Uh, we are, yeah, low double figures now on these, so check them out if you've got them in your car, in your basket. It's all about, what I love about these is you, you've got the gorgeous detailing within the actual um, dies themselves, but if you want to personalise, I just think these are perfect. I love your numbers, I love your alphabet, um, so get these whilst you can. Uh, Craig is going to quickly show you these before they sell out. I am indeed. So let's have a look. Uh, I've only got a couple here that have popped into uh, my little wallet at the side here. So we'll use what I've got. Now these are straight away, hence the name, make a statement. And that's exactly what they are. They make a statement. Mm. Lots of different ways that you can use these ones. Now how I like to use them, I'm going to go for the and on this one here. So simply by using the die on its own this is going to give us our and and what that will then do is that not only will that be, um, bridge the gap between yes. whichever word that you want to do maybe any of your other other sentiments or alphabets at home but within this specific set of the and that I'm using Ben uh, touched upon couple a moment ago and this one this is where you get mr and mrs mr and mrs <laughs> gonna love I'm each other. other but then because if i bring this one in <laughs> so you can see now these are all separate so with this day and age ben it could be mr and mr yeah it or could mrs, be and mrs. mrs and mrs yeah you know so you've got that flexibility it could be you know the I, I don't, and this is a serious question here. Is it still class? Is it a groom and groom or a bride and? Do you know what bride I mean? Bride and bride. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you yeah. mean. I don't, it could be whatever. So like mum and mum, dad and dad, couldn't yeah. it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. it could be, and that's good because these are sizable. Now, I'm more, for instance, let's have a look at the the misses. So the misses, which is a stamp, is one and three quarters by one and a half inches on that one there. So what we can do. If I take this out, so we can see if you can use that on its own straight away, you've got that sizable and here. And also with this one, it is two and a half by two and a quarter. So this is where you've got that good size. However, mm -hmm. what you can then do, Ben, is let's bring in a piece of smooth cardstock. So I'm going to go in smooth. Now, have I got a quick dry with... Oh, we've got a quick dry here. Mm, what one's going to be best? Right. Don't have a bright quick dry. So let's use plum jam. Now, it is water reactive. I would usually use the quick dry. But what we can do is if I bring in my stamping platform... Yeah. And what you can do with these ones as well is let's pop that one on. Let's stamp the stamp and use the stamp as it is if you want. But what you can then do is come along. Now you would be spacing it out with your larger platform or uh, any of your other spacing platforms that you've got for stamps. But you can then stamp it out and then you can come along and overlay. Love that. That decorativeness. Mm -hmm. So you've got the die on its own, you've got the stamp on the own, or the way it's making a statement is by bringing them together that you can see here. But not forget, and you have got that additional stamps here. So let's go for 
Uh, let's go for, let's just do Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Mr. Because we can do, do you even think that show's on anymore here in the UK, is they, it? They brought it back with um, your uh, fave, didn't they, for a bit? Did uh, Holly and Phil do it? Um, not Holly and Phil, it was Fern and Phil. So before Holly and Phil. Oh, was it that long ago? It was that long ago. That must be, what, 10 years ago? Oh, uh, more, more than that, yeah. Wow. More Because they that. had celebrity Mr. and Mrs., didn't That's they? That's right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they had that. The game show guaranteed to cause arguments between couples. That's it. Mm. That's it. And I know we've touched upon it in, in the past, but when we say Holly and Phil, we have a, a morning show here called This Morning. I know you used to, and this is going in the past, I think you used to have like Regis and Kelly and all them in the past, that kind of TV show. And Mr. and Mrs. must have been a US show as well, I guess. It's got to have been, wouldn't it? I'm sure it must have been. Sure. Let us know in yeah, the US if know. Mr and Mrs was a... It sounds like the kind of game show that we would have nicked. Probably. With, yeah. I think the only one so far we didn't nick was Big Brother, but... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Although we did nick that from the Netherlands, didn't we? But that's... Yes, we yeah. did, didn't mm. we? Yeah. So straight away, stamp on it. So now, yes, it is water reactive. I would tend to use maybe things like a, a quick dry or a pigment and use embossing powders but use them together or come in with the dye on its own. See how it breaks it up, but it just focuses. It doesn't take anything away from the sentiments, but it just focuses your eye more. Yeah. So separately or together, or you maybe just want to use the dye on its own completely in whichever color. Wafer thin dye, so it's still gonna do your glitters and your mattes and your mirrors and all these different ones as well. Really nice one when you're getting that collection there with the three of them as well. And certainly for that price as well. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. Um, it is limited stock, it is gonna go, so get it whilst you can. Uh, remember, you're not gonna pay for the, uh, the and, which gives you your mum and dad, uh, your bride and groom, and uh, Mr and Mrs stamps. Um, in that collection, nor are you going to pay for your um, glue tape pen. That is included for free. Uh, you're just paying for your um, Maker Statement Numbers collection. Uh, and again, it is just great if you are wanting to personalise. You've got all of those stamps and dies in there, and then all of your ordinals included as well. Under 20 and under 30, of course, because that is the theme for the Craft Vault today. If you want to grab it, get it now. Do it now, uh, because this uh, is flying out the door. 19.99, 24.95. We're down to low double figures now. Something else which I know you will absolutely love because I know that you've loved it in the past before are our um, cute characters. This collection I absolutely adore. Uh, again, it's under £20, under $30, so $19.98 or £26.90 uh, is the deal on this. Uh, you're getting your dies and stamps here. It's 54 elements in total, uh, but you're going to get... Uh, your feline friends and the great thing about this of course not only do you get all of the stamps with this particular one which relate to the cats uh, kittens are angels with whiskers but you get the die which allows you to go if you want to cut to the the left or right hand side of your card or indeed on top uh, you've got the ability to do that or if you want to cut the whole thing out you can love the fact that we bring you those dies that give you even more versatility you then got your twirling elephant from our uh, twirling animals collection again absolutely perfect if you like to make those um, spinner cars you've got the dies and stamps included there as well and of course that um, gorgeous balloon aperture to pop your little um, elephant into uh, then on top of that um, for the peekaboo collection you've got your peekaboo mouse um, again uh, great to pop into those apertures so you've got the little mouse uh, looking over the top and then all of the uh, stamps as well there to be able to create uh, your little mouse's face and your little mousy behind there too uh, and it's got all of the stamps included as well and then you've got your uh, once upon a time collection uh, which was originally launched of course with our um, our uh, pop-up boxes uh, but again that is just a really cute standalone collection to um, add to all sorts of different cards and that is stamps and dies as well 20 in total there so it's a 54 piece collection for 19.98 or 26.90 just really cute, isn't it? And again, it may well be that you've got um, certain elements from those collections. Great way to be able to build it up, uh, but also just a great way to be able to create some really cute cards and lots of sort of different styles of cards as well with these cuties. Right, we're gonna have a quick look at this in the last 10 minutes. Which one you're gonna be working with? I reckon you're gonna have a look at the elephant. No. Mm, the cat. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. Now, all of these are from a concept. Now, within this shot, you know, there's no way I could possibly show you no. the concept. So let's do the feline friends because this gives you the look of doing an over the edge. What I would always urge you to do is all of our shows, whether it's YouTube or, of course, on Facebook, I would always say, or even our website even, I would always say, if it's me, I watch on YouTube because then I can always just click to like and subscribe. Um, so that's the way that I personally do it. Go back, if you get this collection, and have a look at the past shows, whether it's the twirling characters, the pop-up box, or the uh, character over the edge, because then you'll be able to craft uh, along by watching. So let's take the feline uh, friends, the pussycats here. You've got the stamp set. So you've got the stamp as well as some sentiments. I've got a six by six card, but I have popped a pencil line about two and a quarter inches in from the end. Now, the reason I've done that is because I don't want to cut it off just yet. I want to create that over the edge. So let's bring in the pussycats here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the die that I need. So it's this die here that matches the left ha uh, the right hand side. Yeah. But you do get a die that will go over the left hand side, but you also get a die that goes over the top. So a left fold, a right fold, a top fold, lots of different ways that you can do this one. So what I'm going to do is roughly guide where I want this to go. So I'm going to pop it round about here taping it down. So let's bring in my low tack tape here. What I want to quickly say as well, yesterday, when it comes to the glitter markers, I posted a demo that I said that I would do. Now, unfortunately, one of those things being live time is getting away from us. So it's either the glitter demo or the statement butterfly. No shock to know that uh, we've gone with the statement butterfly. But myself and Ben are back tonight for Monday Maker, 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, with the glitter markers. So that card or project, because it's not quite ATC, but it's along that line that I showed you. I won't do it here, but what I'll do is I'll do it on Monday Maker, so Brilliant. you're not going to miss out. So those that wanted to see it, you're not going to miss out, so don't worry. So what I've done is we've die cut that edge at the side here. So let's go in now with the stamp set and then let's just take what's the quickest one I've got to hand. No reason for this colour. It happens to be pebble if anyone wants to know, but it's watercolour. So this is where I would come along with my aqua pens, sparkle pens, anything along those water based lines. Now it's hard for you to see, but what I'm then doing I is the outline of the dark. So what I should have said. Now it's hard to see, but, because I know you can see that. Yeah, so it's quite clear actually. All right, okay. Oh, sorry. It's all right, no problem. So glad you're back. <laughs> uh, you can see we've got that outline die of the pussy cut. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm matching the outline of my stamp ah. around the outline of the die. So just apologies, Charlotte, I might stick my head in the way. I'll try not to, but I'm going to overlap that and then press. Then what we can do, come along, you're going to rub out that pencil line with an eraser, but I'm going to snip to the base of that die cutting line. And if you need to go in and do a tiny little snip to finish it off, then do that. And then what we can do is come in the other way and we're going to snip down that pencil line also to the top line of that die cut. If you need to snip that away, then you can do. And then that's how it gives us our right hand side over the edge Perfect. of the pussy card. Remember, you can do the left hand side or yep. you might want to do a top mm -hmm. full card as well. Very, very quickly. We'll just do this top uh, from up above here, uh, Ben. So there's one of them from, this is all from the set that you're getting. Pop-up box, cute characters that we can see here. Uh, which, well, there we go. We've got the twirling the elephant, yeah. character you've got mm -hmm. here. 
lots of these different ways that you've got on this one here. So really, really fun, really, really cute. As I said at the start, I would absolutely urge you to go back uh, when we're not live and watch past shows of these because these are concepts or lots of different things you can do with them. Um, loads of comments still coming in. There's loads of excitement about the shows that we've got coming up today. Um, Aisha just saying, I love the Make a Statement collection. That's going to sell out, so make sure you grab it if you've got it in your basket. Um, Michelle Nitz for you on Facebook saying, I have the Statement collection. Um, and Marcia Ernst on Facebook saying, bought the letters from the heart yesterday. It is beautiful. There's so much to look forward to today um, as far as the shows are concerned. Aisha just saying, hello, Ben. Uh, how is the new song coming along? Your fans want to know. I've done it, it's finished, it's all done, but just sort of, I think we're waiting on getting a video done, but I might give you a sneaky peek of it um, over on my Facebook page, maybe maybe, maybe later on, um, we'll see. Lots of love coming in for this as well, by the way, um, if you want to go for the cute uh, characters, 1998 or 2690 uh, is the deal on that, Diana just saying the kittens are so cute. Right, um, one more to see is the uh, next one, the uh, Monday Mega Deal. Um, which is coming up in just a little bit. And you're really excited about this, aren't you? Absolutely. I am. Simply because I'm the one that caused a ruckus when a ruckus. we used this Great on word. Facebook Live last, last year at some point and everyone was wanting a hold of it. So what we've done, once again, because of time, I might not get all these elements done, but we will, um, I'll show you, step you through it. So I've used that Centura pedal that comes within the set. So this is another one as to what we're going to be showcasing on Monday Makers. So I've taken a piece of the blue pastel and then also the lilac. So that's going to go onto my 5x7 card blank. Then what I've done is I've taken the intricate frame that's also within this set and I've die cut that into white Centura Pearl. I would have done it again in blue, but I don't have time. So what I'm then going to do is we can leave it like that is just now. Then what we're going to do is we're bringing in this statement butterfly. And why is it called statement butterfly? Because it makes a statement. Aha. So what I'm going to do is let's take these two. Now, if you're using your large Gemini, you're going to be able to do all layers at once. But because I've got my junior, and I did think, yes, was it yesterday I was prepping this? Yes, I did think, Craig, you, what, you don't need to pre-cut any of them. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. That'll teach me. But this does three individual layers when we do that next one. Think of it of our layering stamps. We've got that base layer, you've got the next layer with a little bit more intricate detail, and then your top layer that's got full-on detail. This is all from the cardstock that you're getting. So we've got that main outline of the butterfly, which you could use on its own. And then what I've done is let's take layer two, and do you know what? Let's run this last one through onto white. And this is the only additional bit of cardstock that I've used. The white one yeah. is actually our white stamping card but you could use white centura pearl if you want. So let's take this one out. I'm not going to take the bits out. Let's go into this last one. Each of these layers, Ben, you could be using individually if you want. Yeah. You don't have to use them all in conjunction. So here was a speedy crafting. Oh, I'm going that. to be sweeping up the floor later on. So here we go. flicking technique yeah, you got there. Yeah, flick it. Yeah, flick it all out. That's it. Then what I would do is once all the bits are out, yeah. either lay it together flat, but what I do, Ben, is I only pop the adhesive on the body. So we'll layer that one on, and then we layer that one on, yeah. and that's giving you that statement butterfly. Love it. So that would then go into the middle here, which would then give us this one. So this is where I'd done the frame with the blue and done a little bit of an offset shadow. Only difference is I used some of my hunky-dory pearls and gone round the edge. So other than the white stamping card and the, the pearls, this has been using that collection that we've got on, uh, well, Monday Makers. Later on today, 7pm here in the UK, 3pm Eastern Time, or of course... Um, 
Did I say that right? 11. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, yep. 11 a.m. Pacific Time. That's what that one is. So that is your nature garden. Beautiful collection, 16 elements in total there. So this is where you're also getting 40 sheets of cardstock, 37.98 here in the UK, $59.90 for you guys stateside. Really nice saving. You're still going to get your Club Inspire on top of that. And it's going to be a nice way to end a Monday. Certainly will. I tell you what, lots of uh, love for the butterfly as well. Diana just saying, love that statement butterfly. And Lynn on Facebook saying, I love the statement butterfly. Stunning. And I even used it to do a couple of butterflies on my classroom display um, as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. And um, a, a super deal on that one today too. So uh, certainly lots to look forward to over the course of the rest of the day today. We absolutely do. Absolutely do. So jam-packed that last hour and a half. It's gone so quick. Thank you so much for watching. We always go back and have a re-look at the comments later on. Don't forget, as it is at this moment in time, 13.29 here in the UK, Ben and Sarah is going to be back in an hour and a half. So that's going to be launch day, 3pm uh, here in the UK, 10, 3pm uh, here in the UK, 10am Eastern time, 7am Pacific time then we're both going to be back later on for Monday Maker. So that's going to be 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. So it's launch day galore with the brand new Sada Signature Collection. Absolutely gorgeous colour-wise. Then what we're going to do is we're going to then potentially even glitter and sparkle it up come Monday Makers later on. Thank you for your company. Enjoy launch day. I'm going to be watching and working away and I know you're going to enjoy it as much as I will do. And then I'm going to be back night time here in the UK and we'll do it again for Monday Makers, the two of us. Bye. Bye.